Attracting more working holiday makers. Our video update for today discusses the government's new campaign for working holiday makers. The Morrison government has recently introduced a $7 million marketing campaign to draw young individuals from abroad to work and holiday in Australia. The Work and Play the Aussie Way campaign promotes the acceptance of working holiday maker visas in the United Kingdom, Europe, the Republic of Korea, and Japan. It gives young travellers a glimpse of the adventures awaiting them while travelling Australia. Minister for Trade, Tourism and Investment, Dan Tayan stated that, the working holiday makers are an essential factor of the Australian visitor economy and fill crucial skill gaps in the tourism and hospitality industries. Mr. Tayan added that, the working holiday makers mostly spend what they earn in Australia, which is why in 2019, they contributed $3.2 billion to Australia's visitor economy, representing 7% of the entire visitor spend. He said that, these young travellers typically stay longer, spend more and visit two or more destinations across the country as they merge work with travel. He believes that, more working holiday makers in Australia, in the nearest term, will help relieve some of the existing workforce, pressures experienced by businesses in hospitality, tourism, and other sectors. The latest campaign promotes, the recent statement by the Australian government, to refund the visa application charge for working holiday maker visa holders subclasses 417 or 462 who come to Australia between the 19th of January 2022 and the 19th of April 2022. Minister for Immigration, Citizenship, Migrant Services and Multicultural Affairs Alex Hawke MP stated, these temporary measures are created to offer prompt assistance to Australian businesses currently experiencing critical workforce shortages. It will also enable them to carry on delivering goods and services to the Australian community. The minister stated that the working holiday makers are vital to Australia's post-pandemic recovery and look forward to their return in growing numbers. Australian Trade and Investment Commission, Australia is also conducting a $3 million campaign to draw more international students, announcing that the $630 Australian dollar visa application fee will be rebated for international student visa holders who are fully vaccinated and arrive in Australia between the 19th of January 2022 and the 19th of March 2022. The offer comprises one of a range of visa support initiatives, including the temporary removal of limits on working hours for student visa holders and new provisions for temporary graduate visa holders. We have reached the end of today's video update. Like and subscribe to our channel if you found this update helpful. Thanks for watching.